or write an email. When I'm getting such kind of emails, you know, that uh, my grandfather died two days ago and therefore I will not attend classes for few days. Now, this is very shocking, very shocking. It shows a total non-application of the human mind, isn't it? If somebody's grandfather has died, how does that prevent him or her from attending classes? I do understand. I'm a Hindu. My parents tell me that I'm born a Hindu. I know that there are some customs to be done. But I also know during these COVID times that there is a restriction of all these religious rituals which we do on the demise of a person. It's not important whether the grandfather died of COVID-19 or something else. What is important is the government has set down completely clear rules stating that there will be not convergence of these many people. This will not be done. That will not be done. So on and so forth. And so I had to respond to this great lady that you do not approach an English teacher or any teacher for that matter in IIT Kharagpur like that. This lecture is being recorded and therefore I want to place it on record. If there's a demise in your family, if there's a birth in your family, if there's a wedding in your family, if there is anything in your family for which you want to take leave, you write to your direct supervisor, which is your HOD. You don't approach teachers directly. Your HOD will take permission regarding your request from the dean. Thereafter, it will come to individual teachers. Over and above that, remember, the faculty member in IIT Kharagpur is all powerful. We can use term potent also to that extent. So it is not that your HOD will tell me, Dr. Seema Singh, that uh, consider her to be present, though she is not present in the class for 20 days, and I will do it. No, it is up to me. It is totally up to me what I will decide and what I will implement. You have been told the importance of attendance. You have been told that camera on is attendance. And if you are going to write such kind of silly mails to me, you know, I can't understand if your grandfather had died, you would not be writing such a silly mail. You would be stuck in sorrow. You would take some time. Maybe somebody else would write. But you write such a silly mail to your English teacher and you expect that... Uh, it be accepted. It's a total non-application of your gray cells. I know that these are very tough times. I would like to inform you that I am also COVID positive. But do you see the state of affairs I am in? Do you feel anywhere that I am COVID positive? The rapid antigen I underwent on 18th showed positive. The RT-PCR was done on 18th. Until today, that is Friday, the report has not yet come. I do hear that sometimes the report comes inconclusive. But whatever it is, it is your mental strength which matters. As a student of humanities and social sciences, I will tell you one thing. That it is this space and how you manage yourself. How you meditate, how you become strong individually, mentally, is what matters in today's world. The disease is there. Sooner or later, everybody will get it. The only issue is if you are coming out of the corona tunnel, whether you are horizontal or vertical when you come out of it. So how do you come out vertical of the corona tunnel? You make yourself mentally strong. Apply your mind. Do not show non-application of the human mind. Okay. So is it clear?